Hi, I'm Wendy from ShinyHappyWorld.com and today I'm going to show you how to do a fly stitch. Okay, so I've got the needle coming up from the back just like any other normal stitch and I'm going to needle back in right straight across from where I'm coming up and I'm not going to pull it all the way. I'm going to make, this is similar in some ways to a chain stitch or a lazy daisy. I'm going to come up and I'm going to catch that top loop in my needle. And I'm going to make a stitch coming down here. And that is a fly stitch. And you can scatter them all around. You can do them a lot smaller and make it look like little flies. I keep thinking I'm going to do a little uh, firefly pattern using some glow-in-the-dark thread. But you can also stitch them in a row and get a really nice kind of viney look. So I'm coming straight down from this point here and I'm going to also now go back in straight down from that point and I'm going to come up right where that tail came out. make that Y. Now I'm going to do it again. So I'm going to come up and go across. And I'm going to pull my Y and then go down and make that down stroke. See, it makes a nice little vine shape. It's a slightly different look than you would get if you did straight stitch, straight stitch, straight stitch. I like the slight curve that you get at the bottom of it by having them loop under um, this downstroke. And that's a fly stitch. So that's it. That's how you do a fly stitch. Really, really easy. If you can do a lazy daisy, you can do a fly stitch. It's almost exactly the same kind of stitch, except it's open at the top instead of closed back in. I'm Wendy from ShinyHappyWorld.com. I'll see you next time.